So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the pros and the cons of having a IKEA Detoff as a hamster cage. To start off, what is an IKEA Detoff? Well, it is a glass cabinet that you would get from IKEA. It is meant to be a display cabinet for collectibles or other items that you want to display in a glass cabinet. But because we're handy dandy people in the hamster community, we have learned that you can actually convert this into a hamster cage. So why would you get an IKEA Detoff when you could just go out and get a glass aquarium? Well, the Detoff is about a equivalent to a 90 gallon aquarium. So if you were to go out and buy a 90 gallon aquarium, that's gonna run you about $800. Whereas the IKEA Detoff costs only about $69.99. So how do you transform the IKEA Detoff into a hamster cage because it originally is supposed to be a glass cabinet? Assembly is required when it comes to building the Detoff and you should have two people building it or else you could accidentally break it because we are dealing with glass here. So it does require at least two people to help build it. Basically, you're going to build the entire Detoff except you are not going to attach the door onto the Detoff and you're just going to flip it onto its back. Now because the Detoff isn't made to be a hamster cage, it's been converted to be one, you are going to need to make your own custom lid because it doesn't come with one, of course. Um, and it is mandatory. I do not recommend having a IKEA Detoff without a lid. It is very easy for your hamster to just climb out and escape and you don't want that to happen. It is quite simple to make your own lid. There's several different ways. I've done two methods of making uh, lids for my Detoff. So the one behind me is actually just simply made from some wood, rodent mesh stapled to the wood, and some little handles attached to it. And it was quite easy and simple to make. My other Detoff, on the other hand, the lid I've chosen to create for it, it, I've taken the two glass shelves that come with the Detoff, I've put them onto the ends, and then I've taken a wire mesh bottom that used to come from a rabbit cage that I no longer have and I've zip tied it to the bars of the Detoff and I've just put weights on top and that is my lid. So the IKEA Detoff comes to about 950 square inches of floor space with the outer measurements being 64 inches long, 16 inches wide, and 14 inches tall. When you get your Detoff, you are going to want to make sure that you have a dresser or shelf or whatever you're putting it on. Um, make sure that it is a little bit shorter than the Detoff. You should have a couple of inches hanging off on each side because the Detoff does have these wooden ends and they stick out just a little bit on the bottom. So if you were to put it on an equal sized dresser, the middle of the Detoff would actually end up bowing, so the glass would start to bend in, and then eventually the glass will uh, smash. You don't want that, so make sure you have a dresser or something that is a little bit shorter than it, or you can create some type of thing so it's all equal. I don't know how to explain that very well. I'm very sorry about that. Another thing about the Detoff, it is only 14 inches tall, so that kind of limits you to what height of things you can put in there. Like for example, the wheel, you're not going to be able to fit anything more than an 11 inch wheel. I don't think a 12 inch would fit. Um, it probably would be touching the top of the lid unless you make a uh, lid that's a little bit lifted. Another thing that might be an issue to some people is that the Detoff is only 16 inches wide, so you might have some trouble trying to fit in wider items. Of course, the Detoff is really long, so there is quite a bit of space for you to put things this way. <laughs> Overall, I really would recommend the IKEA Detoff. It is one of my favorite hamster cages that I've had. Um, I like it because of the fact that it is fairly cheap and it is large. It also looks really nice. It's like a fish tank except half the price. My hamsters have enjoyed living in the IKEA Detoff and I haven't had any bad issues with them. They haven't chewed on the inside bars nor have they chewed on the outer wood pieces and they've overall just really enjoyed the cage. So I hope this video has helped anybody who is looking into the Detoff or maybe you've never even heard of the Detoff. Um, hopefully more people in the future use them as hamster cages because they are great cages and I actually think that more people buy them for hamster cages than display cabinets. And I'm not sure if Ikea knows that but they should. <laughs> 
So yeah guys, thank you for watching. Bye!